Welcome, I'm Rupal Patel, Senior Vice President and Fashion Director for Saks Fifth Avenue, and we are so excited to have you join us all today. I am here in LA to learn how to play pickleball with Stoud, the creative director and founder of her namesake brand. Hi Stoud. Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's such an exciting day. I'm really excited to crush you on the court. <laughs> I can't wait for that to happen. But I had no idea that you were such a huge pickleball fan. How did this happen? I am a diehard fan. I'm not the best pickleball player of all pickleball players, but I'm okay. Um, I started playing during COVID and early on, and I just fell in love with the sport. And I love the camaraderie of it all and just being able to play with my mom. I play with friends and it's just a really fun, not serious, but can be serious um, game. And I love sort of the novelty element of it and that it was a new sport. Yeah, it's been sort of years in the making in my mind, the collection, and I'm so excited to launch it with you guys exclusively. We're so excited to launch it with you and to have the opportunity to have a lesson here in LA with you and your coach, Matt, is going to just be, I think, I, I'm really, I'm nervous and I'm scared, but excited at the same time. What's going on, Sachs? My name is Matt. I'm a professional pickleball player, commentator, and coach to the stars. I've been playing pickleball now uh, for a couple years since the pandemic. I had a whole tennis background before, got into it. It was the first thing that I found exciting during that pandemic. It got me out on the court with friends, gave me a sense of community. And when I moved to LA, it really allowed me to build a whole career here, which is where I ended up meeting Stodd. And, uh, and now look at here, a couple years later, we have Stodd and Saks Fifth Avenue, awesome new collection. Nice. Thank you. As a coach, Three main tips, it is different than tennis. First of all, it's such a, an exciting sport because it's more inclusive. The barrier to entry is lower. Anyone can really play it. Day one, you can play a game. You can uh, get 10 balls back and forth and have a good rally. And that's why it's just so inviting to everyone. Doesn't matter gender, age, sex. You can go with anyone and play on day one and it's a fantastic sport. I've known Stodd now for a few years. Uh, she was one of my first clients and obviously now friends uh, here in LA to, to see her passion for pickleball marry with her talent in the fashion world has just been awesome to see. And she has a couple Stoddism. She's gotten really good at the game. One thing I love when I watch her play is normally the backhand, come, you come from forehand to backhand this way. She kind of goes inverted and then crushes that backhand coming across. We call her an animal or a beast. She gets into beast mode. Anyone can play, right? Anyone can play. It's about strategy. It's about, um, it's kind of like chess and tennis at the same time, and but easier than both. Well, I love, um. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that like you take your path. One of the things I love about you and your design and your approach is like you take your passion for something and you put it into your work. And the fusion of sport and fashion is done so well in this capsule that you're going to launch. And I mean, I'm wearing some of the pieces as you are today. Yeah. It's super chic, really, really comfortable, very, um, just the fabrics feel so good. Let's talk a little bit about your design process when you're taking your collection and your love and passion for pickleball. Like, what was that process like? So I think obviously functionality and versatility is core to the brand DNA and just thinking about our girl and wearing it on the court, off the court. Um, I tried to create dresses that were cute, whether you were playing a sport or not. Um, and, you know, there's novelty elements, which is definitely core to the DNA and a little nod to whether it be, you know, a 
impeccable mirror, which is one of the bags, which you'll see at some point. And, I love that detail. Um, and this cardigan, which has dog that was named Pickles after the sport. Um, and the little pickle on the sweater, which I love, and some pickleball terminology on the back. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's, we tried to offer just a, a wide range of novelty court, on the court, off the court, comfort. There's a place for the balls in the pockets. Um, no, it's and really well done. The, yeah, the accessories are super exciting. And I, I had no idea where to put my paddles. Like I was just throwing them in my bag. So we really wanted to create a bag you could have a place for your paddle. Um, and then, you know, this little sort of novelty purse that we created that you can wear out and just be a fan of the sport. The purse, I love the little mirror that you pull out. Do you want to see it? it? Yes. You have to show us this okay, little so design this detail. Is, so sweet. Yeah, so it's a cute little crossbody. It comes in two colors. And then mm -hmm. this is the little mirror that looks like a pickleball racket. So it's leather on one side and a mirror on the other. I mean, I need that now. So it's like you go out at night and you just, or you wear it during the day and you have your little mirror and you're a fan of the sport. Oh, and this is so cute. It's great because it functions for everything, not just the court. You can wear it on and off the court. And then if you're sweaty, you're like, oh, I need a little fixer up. Or... This is so and sweet. And this is the larger one, which is like perfect for your racket. You only need to bring one racket if you're playing alone. We have our solid socks racket here. That's very cool. And I love the canvas back to the leather trim, which is also very signature of the brand and the nodding details. And yeah. You're kind of ready to go. I love that. So she, you look amazing. So do you. Thank I'm excited you. to play. Excited to play, but I also have to give a shout out to one thing is the socks oh, of Stout The court. socks and the shoes. Yes, let's talk about the shoes. So the shoes we did with Keds, they're an amazing partner. Um, I really wanted to create a kind of low profile court shoe and one that was in a darker tone and then one that was truly white and green back to sort of the pickleball colors and most of the collection um and they're unisex which is great there's some they pieces, are yeah so there's some pieces really in the collection great. that my husband's been wearing them non-stop i'm like those are mine but he, they you know they had them in his size so he's been loving them and this is actually a unisex half zip as well it's so comfy and then we have a t-shirt and hats, but yeah, these are amazing court shoes and they're really great to play in and give you the support and um, yeah. And they're super chic. And they're super chic. To wear them with jeans. Everything's really meant for on the court and off the court. I love that there's something for everyone, which is so wonderful because it's a family sport, right? Pickleball oh. for everyone and you can find something. We're so excited to launch the capsule and the so sacks. Check it out on Socks.com. Thank you, Stodd, for this lesson today. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Should we get on the court? Let's do it. All right, let's get this game going. One thing I love about pickleball is that low barrier to entry, holding the grip. In tennis, you have a semi-western, a western, continental for the serve. In pickleball, I just want you to shake hands with that paddle, whether it's a dink, a serve, a backhand roll, that continental shaking hands with the paddle grip gives you all you need in a game of pickleball. Another thing that's easy about pickleball is the serve. It's an underhand serve, contact point below the waist. I'm just gonna turn, swing low to high and go through that ball. So slow through the ball, cross court, and you have a great serve. Well, Sax, your time with me is done for now. We went over pickleball tips, I gave you a few life lessons, but now we need to hit the courts ourselves. We're gonna get into a competitive pickleball game with the best clothing in the game. Let's get on court. All right, start your court. Zero, zero. 
the two main rules of pickleball are the first is the two bounce rule. So the serve has to bounce beyond the kitchen line and the return has to bounce. In tennis, you could actually serve and volley. In pickleball, you cannot. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is this non-volley zone rule. I can't take a ball out of the air with my feet inside the non-volley the non zone line. I'm standing in the non-volley zone right now. I wouldn't be able to take a ball out of the air. I would have to let it bounce. So those are the two main rules as you go and hit the courts this summer. for joining us today. Check the collection out on sax.com. Thank you. Bye, Sax. Bye, Sax.